So here is a Hurricane Matthew story that is positively jacks this morning, and it is about the power of prayer, especially during tough times like this historic storm that hit us. It affected people all over the country. They were praying for us. So this is a story of how a school hundreds of miles away affected students right here. Channel 4 is Bakari Savage covering the story live this morning, Bakari. So these kids <laughs> thought, hey, we can help. We can pray for our families here. That's right. So we all know that the destruction from Hurricane Matthew could have been so much worse for us. Just look at Haiti. So how do you explain what spared us? Well, students at schools in Ohio and right here in Jacksonville believe that they know the answer. So now they're praying it forward. Holy Mary, Mother of God. Praying the rosary at Catholic school happens every day. During Hurricane Matthew, students in Ohio elevated. Well, I really had chills. It was a pretty neat moment. On a typical day, Principal Mary Ann Jimenez, she gets her mail, she walks into her office, she begins to open it. Usually it's just a ton of bills, but this one day she has this envelope. Excuse the writing, she was just making notes. So when she opens it, she finds this inside. There was a nice a picture, there was a card, handwritten, and also a little poster with handprints from kids, and it was from St. Ignatius Catholic School in Cincinnati, Ohio. On the cards, it shows what time the students in Ohio prayed for the students here. So how many of you had trees fall down? I'm going to mouth a little bit smaller. Explaining that to the students. How many of you lost power? All right, you can put your hands up and getting their reactions. I think that was like actually pretty cool because like I think that was a very ah! <laughs> <laughs> I blanked out, okay. Good because they were just doing it out of love. Assumption principal Marianne Jimenez says this explains how Northeast Florida weathered Matthew. Well I think that prayer is important and I think this just proves it. And here comes the aha moment. Random act of kindness in a sense. And, you know, we hear that pay it forward. Well, I kind of thought, let's pray it forward. I think that it's kind of cool that, like, as a community, as a school, like, we're going to um, help out people. Pay it forward! And Principal Jimenez says that they're going to kick off their pray it forward campaign today, starting with other storm victims. Reporting live on Bakari Savage, Channel 4, the local station.